ジュジュレイブルブレダー。Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Today I am doing something a little bit different from usual. I'm here with my friend Eli. He's a jazz guitarist. I like guitar and I like jazz. You're pretty familiar with how like Japanese music sounds and how there are slight nuances to different, I guess, artists and Styles of J pop. I don't know that I could say I know the nuances down to a T or anything because、uh, I, I, I'm only like an enthusiast level jazz musician, but I think I know a thing or two about it. We are currently away from my usual set, as you can see, and we are going to play a game I don't have a title for, but I'm just going to call it The J Music Challenge. I have my old school iPod here, and I've got a playlist of A bunch of different songs that are either from anime or games or just regular J pop songs, and we're gonna see how many of those you can get, whether it's a J pop song or an otaku related thing. Basically, if you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, I get a point. And at the end, there is a punishment game because, of course, there's a butts game. So,、uh, if you wanna see him suffer, probably, then stick around until the end. That sounds very serious. I feel like it's a regular J pop song. Are you gonna lock that in? Are you sure? Let's see. Yeah, I'm locking it in. That sounds like a real regular J pop song. Okay, Eli says regular J pop song. And he is wrong. <laughs> Shoot. That is the ending for the second season of Natsume Yujincho, which, what is that in English? I'm forgetting. Natsume's Book of Friends. You've probably never seen that. You're more、I've、of a mainstream guy. I'm a mainstream guy. So, that's a point for me. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> Thought. It sounds like, I don't know, like a Hasune Miku kind of sound to it. I'm gonna say this is probably not anime, because I had a very long lead in before the words came in. I don't know. To be fair, I have, these are, most of these songs I have are the full versions of songs, so it's not just the 90 seconds.、Oh. You know, I mostly watch trash shown and stuff. <laughs> so you're not、intense. as familiar with the、uh, like、slice of life or romance kind、exactly. of stuff. Exactly. So, like, I, This could fit in with that, perhaps. Okay, I'm gonna say maybe anime. 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 Locking it, Locking it in. And you're wrong. No, <laughs> no. That is just a regular J pop song、oh, by, go with my gut. by <laughs> You Know Me, who I can't remember. She wrote the opening for. Shoot, I forgot the name of it. The really cute one where the guy marries her when they meet each other for the first time. It's funny. No idea what that one is. It's funny. I'll put it on the screen. It'll be somewhere here. That was not anime. He said anime. I'm Two and I. Losing my, my musician card, losing my otaku card. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I feel like weebs are going to lose their minds when they see this video. <laughs> Just like. How dare you! This sounds like a real J pop song. It just sounds kind of like a nice ballad y kind of song that could be on the radio, I can imagine.、Mm -hmm. I mean, this、really、is a, any she... piece could be in an anime. There's not like a law. I could see this in an anime, but I can also imagine this as just easy listening on the radio.、So、I'm g o n n a say anime. anime. Change my answer. Anime. Locking that in. Come on. And it is. Correct. Ah, correct! Eli is on the board. I think it's like the 15th ending for Fairy Tale. Oh, and I've watched that show. That's, that's my favorite <laughs> ending from the show. I don't, I don't really remember any other songs from it because Fairy Tale, oof. That's your kind of show, though. Yeah. <laughs> Is this from a game? I don't know. Let me listen to this. This is from Gravity Rush or something. You think? Yes, this is video game music. And you're right! 
Yes! That is correct. Uh, I forget the t the name of that track actually. It's Juju de Bude Bude Da. Beautiful nope. pronunciation. <laughs> it's a made up language, but Eli got it right. So now we're tied two two. I'm thinking okay, it sounds so like an adventure, so I'm gonna assume it's from an anime. I feel like there's been a sense of adventure listening to it. Is that what you get? I don't. I don't get that feeling at all. But I, I, mean, I get I'm, that. It's the, the the percussion maybe, the, the timing. I don't know. It feels like I'm moving forward towards some goal. Okay, fair. So you're locking in anime. 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 And that is correct. <laughs> uh, sense of adventure that's interesting because it's not an adventure show oh <laughs> it, is, it is an isekai that's the opening the first opening for ascendance of a bookworm it's really good actually i really like that show but yes you were correct music. that tr that song is also mostly in 5 8 Ooh. jazz jazz <laughs> i did a whole video on um anime songs with odd time signatures i didn't watch that one that's fine i feel like that's <laughs> one you would really like though Probably is. But anyway, uh, I'll put a link to that somewhere up here. There's definitely more genres than these slower ones. They just keep coming up. <laughs> I just got it on shuffle. Really wow. cool blending of styles. Super right? strange, yeah. I like it though. I'm gonna say J-pop. J-pop? I don't have a particular reason, it's just a vibe. I, I, like, I was at first trying to like envision what kind of an opener, like, like visuals you'd get with this, and it's just so strange. I don't know that it would fit, since there's so many styles, I don't know if it would fit one genre of anime. Now, I could be totally wrong here, and I probably am. But I'm gonna say J-pop. Okay, let's lock in J-pop, and that... No! It's wrong. That is the opening to Somali and the Forest Spirit. That one was also in the Odd Time Signatures video. You're really missing out. Oh. So, we're tied. 3-3. Three, three. Uh, are you ready for the next one? I'm ready. Anime. There's no way. At the beginning when I said J-pop, I meant basically anime and games or just not anime and games. So it could be just like a movie soundtrack. Oh. Or like a theater production soundtrack. This definitely know. doesn't sound like pop, so Well yeah, no, I feel like that theater. I feel like that was misleading. Okay, maybe that's like a soundtrack piece that I can imagine that for some kind of film or anime or something. So I'll go with that. Film or anime. So not J pop, but So film so or like anime so like the thing. anime slash game category. Yeah. Correct. Oh, yes. Shoulder cracks. There. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, that is uh, the opera piece from the Violet Evergarden, which I am still upset that you haven't watched yet. <laughs> A very different vibe. <laughs> I'm gonna say anime. This feels like anime. Just. That's all you have to say? Just a this feels very like general vibe. It does feel very anime. I it won't say that. Well, 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 let's see where it goes. I'm gonna say... Oh well, shoot, I don't know. Maybe... Okay, J-pop. It's J-pop. J-pop. You're locking that in? Locking it in. J-pop. And that is... Correct! So, I didn't realize while we were recording the video, but this is actually the opening song for the game Akiba's Strip, so technically Eli was wrong here, but I'll just have to let it slide now. That was kind of a trick one, because this is a group called Claris. They're very much an anime group, or pair, whatever you want to call them. Eli is way ahead now. Well, not Ooh. way, but you know, five to three. <laughs> I like this. Very cool. A lot of nice jazz, big band influence. J-pop. J-pop. Sounds very, like, it could be commercially viable in a J-pop kind of way. 
I don't know if I follow the logic, but okay. I feel like that one might be a J-pop. J-pop? All right, lock that in, Locked. and it is correct. Woo! Majiko, one of my favorite J-pop artists. She does like every style, mainly J-pop, but she'll take like jazz influence, and then she also has a metal EP. She also has done hip hop, so that's very diverse. Pretty versatile, yeah. Very diverse. diverse. Just going all over the place with genres today. I know you're not much of a hip hop fan. I have no idea. This could be inserted into an anime. I, I can see this being like in a scene in an anime or something. Maybe not an opener. I'm just saying anime. I mean, you don't know much about hip hop, so I feel like there's not no. too much you can say about it. Eli That's says cool. anime, and that is. Correct. Wow, you're on a roll right now. <laughs> seven, yeah, seven to three. That is from Megalobox, the first season. It's about boxing in the future with like metallic arm things that make their punches hurt more. <laughs> I guess <laughs> that's that's Megalobox, the best description you'll ever hear. Ooh, I really like this song too. Sounds familiar, actually. I'm gonna say J-pop. I just get the, the impression that it's a J-pop song. I mean, it could be an ending song. I don't think it'd be an opener. J-pop. And that is wrong. <laughs> that is the ending theme for, uh, or the first ending for Sakura Quest. That put me sort of back on the board, seven to four. What are we playing to? I have no idea. First <laughs> ten, to ten wins. First to ten? All right. <laughs> Most likely not an opening, yeah. based on your logic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this could be an ending. I feel like it's a, a toss-up when it's like this. It could be an ending or it could be J-pop. Are you familiar with the artist Sakamoto Maya? No. I feel like J-music fans are going to kill you for saying you don't know Sakamoto Maya. <laughs> but, <laughs> no idea. but I'm more of a Q Sakamoto kind of guy. He is. He is. <laughs> A very good Sakamoto. He's one of the best of the Sakamotos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say ending song in an anime because it's kind of sad and that's like, I don't know, I feel like that's a thing. Locking in anime. Anime. And that is wrong. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> that is a J-pop song. It's another sort of trick one. Sakamoto Maya is a voice actor. Uh, but she's probably the best singer amongst voice actresses, I would argue. Uh, and was she a singer in Love Live then? <laughs> yeah, that, that's an auto lose. <laughs> you just you lose. This is still my video. It's just like a video game noises. I think this is a trick. Okay. I have no idea what this is. It's pretty weird. I can't imagine it as an ending or an opening, but I also can't imagine it as J-pop. But I couldn't picture it in a game either. Maybe just J-pop and they're just quirky. Using game sounds, samples. I'll say J-pop. And that is... Correct! Yes. Uh, yeah, I... This is not the kind of music you would expect from this artist, Egoist. Eight Two more to points. five. Two points away from victory. This sounds like anime, but I'm not sure. I feel like we should, we should give it give it a little more time. Anime. This sounds like anime to me. I could be totally wrong. Just the nuance. Yeah gives me that vibe. Well, that was, yeah, that, yes! that, that's totally anime. Um, that is one of the special ending tracks for the third season of The World God Only Knows. Definitely give that season a shot because it completely changes the vibe of the entire thing in a way that makes sense.
beautiful. I don't know, this actually could be an anime thing. It was very like a dramatic opening, which makes me think maybe anime. There are a lot of J-pop pretty... songs that start with like that. Well, I not know. like that, but like, you know, with yeah. just the sort of spoken lines. Yeah. I feel like I'm that's... Saying J-pop. J-pop? J-pop. J-pop is... Wrong! Yeah. No. That is an anime opening. It's one of the best anime openings. Oh, and I cool. think most people would agree. And the show is absolute shit. <laughs> like, pure garbage. Uh, it's, uh, what's it even called? I've kind of erased it from my memory. Something. Domestic Girlfriend. That's what it's for. J-pop. The song has a lot of good flow between English and Japanese. This like, feels like J-pop. Are you sure? J-pop. Yeah. I will tell you that this artist does a lot of both. Really? I could be totally wrong. You look very confident, like, so... <laughs> you think? I'll say J-pop. J-pop? Eli says J-pop. This is game point for him. And he's right! Yes! That is J-pop. I win! I will say, of the two... Yeah, the two anime songs that I know she's done sound very similar in style to this. Interesting. Oh, could have could have gone either way then. So Eli wins ten to six. I will get my pun punishment since it's not really a punishment for me. So this is the punishment. I don't know if a lot of people know what this little styrofoam square is, but this is Natto, which you might have heard of if you've watched enough anime, but. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's basically fermented soybeans, and Japanese people love it, and usually foreigners are also quite averse to it. Mm. Eli? Uh, quite averse is a very mild way of describing uh, I'm how one I of, feel. <laughs> I am one of the very rare foreigners who actually likes natto a lot, so this isn't really a punishment for me, but we didn't think up a punishment for if I lost. And this was just basically for him, so, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll just eat it. I had fun with this challenge, I had fun making the playlist. I feel like I learned some lessons here about the nuances of, I guess, J-pop versus anime game music stuff. I don't know how well you can see that, I'll also put a picture of it in later. But, anyway, uh, here's me eating some. Oh, I can't even look at it. Oh. Mm. Good stuff, quality fermented beans. Oh. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. You can become a patron over on this link. You'll have access to all of my transcriptions I do for my analysis videos, as well as the right to vote on future video topics. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. I can't, I'm literally retching. I look almost vomited when I saw you mix it. I don't think I can do it. Mm, look at that. Oh. Oh. One bean. One bean, Eli. I fucking can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not gonna hold it. I can't.